Welcome back to SRB Gaming. Today we have Kerbal Space Program and one of my biggest accomplishments on this game, also episode one of the Real Solar System series I'm starting as of now. If you don't know, Real Solar System is a mod which replaces all the Kerbal planets with real planets. And since the Kerbal planets are actually ten times smaller than their real life counterparts, it makes the game a lot harder. Like in the old version, you could get by on 4,000 meters per second delta V and get into orbit of Kerb Kerbin. Good luck here. It's about 10,000 for uh, Earth. And that's just to get into low orbit. And today, I'm actually landing on Phobos, the nearest of Mars's two moons. And this is a probably my biggest accomplishment in this game. So uh, Phobos is a very, very small moon orbiting Mars rather closely, so it's rather fast. And uh, its gravity is about one one-thousandth of Earth's gravity. So Earth is 9.8 meters per second squared. Phobos is about 0 0.01 meters per second squared. That's five times less than Gilly. If you've been to Gilly you, in uh, KSP, you know what an issue that is. So a uh, uh, fun fact is that it actually takes less overall delta V to get to land on Phobos and come back than it does to do land on the moon and come back. Of course, the moon would take like five days and Phobos takes four years, but <clears throat> just interesting. So it's actually one of the uh, proposed areas for the first missions to Mars because of how easy it is to land on it. The gravity means that <clears throat> it's like eight meters per second delta V to land on it from orbit or something. In fact, it took me forever to get in orbit and I actually, eventually I just started treating it like a, a rendezvous with another ship and that actually worked. And uh, the orbit was the orbit's extremely unstable. The gravity is so low that even moving your ship with SAS can turn can completely change the orbit. So I actually the gravity is so low and you can't time warp that I would take hours to come in. So I was actually using my engines to push myself forward. So this ship was transferred here on a large near future propulsion uh, liquid hydrogen powered ship with a big nuclear reactor on it, and that's still in orbit in case any future missions are in need of a nuclear reactor. <laughs> There's not really any fuel on it. This is my mini specialized lander. What we have is a small Rocco Max engine powered by liquid fuel oxidizer mix. Uh, there is service, there's a service compartment from Universal Storage Mod which has a monopropellant and in there I'm using also a small O10 monopropellant engines on the side as an emergency source. And We've got these solar panels for power I am going to retract them for landing because I do not want to um, risk them breaking because they're my only source and I have batteries for backup. And then um, on the side, well, there are also cast modules in the service compartment for parts because I'm going to need to bolt down to this thing. A Kerbal jumping would get escape velocity for this thing. So uh, let's view through the cockpit. But anyway, I brought along two winches on the side with grappling hooks. So they have a range of 50 meters. So what I'm going to do is when I get within 50 meters of the surface, and I am using Mechjeb true altitude because of how ridiculously lopsided this thing is, I'm going to fire the harp, uh, grappling hooks into the ground. They'll stick, and then I'll be able to pull, reel myself in with the winches, and that will compensate for the really low gravity. And then once I hit the ground, I'll bolt myself down with some cast pylons and, and struts and, and drill them in. And once I'm completely permanently attached, I'll detach the grappling hooks. So I burnt prograde to get me a decent fall uh, speed, and if if you look at my vertical velocity marker down to the three decimal places, it is increasing very, very, very slowly. As I said, 0.01 meters per second. Another fun fact: Deimos, the farther moon of Mars, is a uh, I believe 0 0.003 meters per second. So it's 15 times less gravity than Gilly, Gilly, that tiny asteroid moon around. Uh, Eve. Yeah. So we're coming in. You can start seeing ridges on the surface. Another fun fact about Phobos, since I actually was researching this for a while, the Russians uh, launched a mission there a couple years ago. They were going to bring back surface samples, just a probe. It actually failed, but unfortunately. But we do have good pictures of it from multiple Mars landers and probes. So we're coming down, and I am watching the altitude, because as soon as we drop below 50 meters, I'm going to uh, kill my velocity with the engine and fire the harpoons, the uh, grappling hooks, just like that uh, fillet lander with the Rosetta mission to the comet from the ESA. They kind of did the same thing with their uh, lander on the comet. They had to fire harpoons to the surface because the gravity is just so low. Getting closer, you can start to see the surface now. 
And uh, Phobos has great views of Mars. And you'll see that. Well, you can see it now. Just awesome views. And I really hope that uh, in reality, some they eventually do manned missions here. That would be amazing. So there we go. We're going to fire the harpoons, uh, grappling hooks. And I got the GUI set up. And we're just kind of hovering here. It's pretty much in space. The gravity's so low. It looks like I'm paused. It's not. So we're sitting here, and uh, we will eject shortly. This lander is carrying just one pilot, and it's actually going to end up being kind of a base because he's not going to be able to come home. Eh, return missions are boring anyway. There we go. First grappling hook ejected. Second grappling hook ejected. We are now secured to the surface. And I activate them, and they begin pulling us in. A little lopsided, but we're not leaving this thing. And you'll see in a minute, the gravity is just so low that you need to have this here. On the bright side, it takes almost no fuel to land on this thing. I could easily get back into Mars orbit. And then I stopped about there to kind of even them out. There's a concept missions of mining fuel on Phobos I've seen. I don't know if they 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 uh, theorize that there might be ice deposits under the surface, but that it's the because they know it's porous because it's too big for its gravity, so and its mass. Lander got a bit lopsided here because of the harp, uh, grappling hooks, so I, I'm pulling it out, and uh, I'm going to leave that one in until the pilot can EVA and buckle us down. He's he's going to be coming out in just a sec. And then I kind of refired them to level me out. Okay, and there he goes and he's taking the parts out of the cast box. And I want you to watch this. He takes a step forward and starts flying. One step is going to make you go very, very, very far. You have to treat it like you're EVAing from a ship. The issue is you can jump off the surface of this. If you were to jump, you would reach escape velocity unless you used your jetpack to come back. So I'm attaching pipes to make that pylon part of the ship. Link. And then I'm going to be attaching struts so that that pylon is stuck to the ground and the ship is going to be stuck to the pylon. And in just a moment, this ship will be permanently uh, bound to the surface until I remove these struts. And there we go. Now I can remove the harpoons. And uh, this base is named Conqueror. And it is set it, uh, It's at Phobos to stay. This mission is in honor of Jebediah Kerman who was on the first Phobos mission. His ship was devoured by the Kraken about halfway to Mars. It was a very sad story. Uh, if you don't know what the Kraken is, it's just a nickname from KSP for glitches. His uh, transfer vehicle, it was destroyed and I couldn't quick load. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this mission to Phobos. If you liked it, please subscribe, help our channel grow, comment below, I'll reply if I can, and stay tuned for more real solar system. And here's a great view of Mars while we come out.